We want to introduce you to Shopping Box, a new line of toolboxes. We call them the, the world's most compact uh, toolbox. It's called a vertical drawer. This toolbox right here is what we call our 180. It was designed for a flatbed pickup. A few years ago, we bought a new run-of-the-mill flatbed pickup. We went to hanging our boxes all on it again. We said, no, we're not gonna do this. So we got in a barn with a hammer and a chisel, and here's what we developed. This is our 180. This uh, is 12 inches wide, 18 inches tall. It, uh, it's got a door on each end. This end here is built for all your, you have a place for your combination wrenches uh, from inch and an eighth down. You have a place for 24 down on your metric wrenches. This is for your combination. Here on the end, have storage. This here is a, uh, built for your paper towel holder. As we go along, we'll show you some boxes that is uh, pretty well completely loaded with tools. This side of the box, place for 50 screwdrivers and nut drivers. This area here is uh, built for your breakovers, ratchets, such as that, long wrenches. This here holds 60 deep sockets, uh, 3 8 drive, half inch drive, sockets, everything you need. This is the opposite end. This end carries a jack. It carries bolt storage. We'll show you some other applications here in a minute that has the jacks uh, place storage here. This front side here is for bolt bins, parts bins, whatever you want to put in there. We'll show you all this loaded here in a minute. This is our model 170A and 170B. Fits in the bed of a regular pickup. It's below bed level. These toolboxes are pretty well the same as the model 81, except it all works out over the tailgate. This is model 71A. This box here contains your combination wrenches, SAE, and your metrics, paper towel rack, screwdrivers, sockets. This also has a, a landing on the front of it that is for the roller space that uh, the roller extends into this area. It's made out of 10 gauge steel. You can't drop a plow on it and tear it up. So there's an area there you put a fuel tank, air compressor, whatever you want to do with it. This is our model 71B. On the right here, it has our bolt bins, whatever you want to put in, bolts, washers, nuts, bearings, parts bins. This side here is, is part of our patent papers, is the place for your jack, keep it in out of the weather. Jumper cables, have a place up here for a bottle jack or miscellaneous items. These boxes all have a, a release, trigger release, that you can remove here. This entire tool rack removes out. We have a gun rack that'll fit in there. You get tired of mechanicking and want to go hunting on the weekend, remove this rack, put in a gun rack, and you're ready to go. We'll be showing you 
more of that in a minute. This here is a rollout that goes, you purchase it separate, pulls everything out of the bed of the pickup. There's no more climbing in or reaching over the side of these old tall pickup beds. Uh, and uh, everything comes out to you. These boxes are, is offered separately, purchase one or both. or. Whatever you want to, the rack is also separate. This is an interesting setup here. This is our 71A and 71B in combination with our, our 180. If you're a, a guy that needs lots and lots of tools, lots of storage, we've got it all right here in this setup. You've got your, your tool drawer here. These all we'll remove, like we said earlier, and a gun rack will go in, or we have a blank. You can remove these and put what we call a blank. It is a roller system, and you can build it to suit your need. Uh, if you're not a mechanic, you're a carpenter, or refrigerated air, any, any application we don't, you want to do, you can modify it by just removing these trays. You have her, your 180 set up with everything in it also. Makes for a little package here with the flatbed. This is our uh, flatbed, shopping box flatbed we've developed. Eight foot flatbed. This bed we've designed a, a unique side where it fits in, blends in with the doors of any model of pickup, model or make of pickup. We put tie down stakes in your stakes we put tie downs where you don't have to hunt a place to tie down you can run your hooks down in here we also have sides four inch sides for it this has our uh, 180 uh, shopping box insert built into this box This is a good stout roller system. You can't tear it up unless you run through a gate. It has the same, all the same storage tools, screwdrivers, paper towel holder, 60 sockets, 50 screws and screwdrivers. This bed also releases right here, this drawer. It'll, it'll come out. You can put a blank in there for any application. Our gun rack will fit in there. We have extra storage uh, built in here for your shovels, shovels, bars, heavy wrenches. Okay, we have a uh, place to store your hitch when it's not in use to keep from jamming your leg. We have sockets uh, built in here that we have a uh, ladder rack. We'll be showing you that here in a minute. It folds up and carries in your box at all times. This is your opposite side. Storage area. You can see the fold up rack laying inside. Our bed with the ladder jack in place, our four inch rails, we have a good heavy headache rack, a good looking headache rack, a good design. Ladder jack rack, removable, either end folds up, the tops fold down.
Holds up in a nice little bundle. Fits in the top of your toolbox. This is our gun box. We call it the gun box. Uh, it's a heavy duty box that'll fit on the back of your pickup, of course. Fit in the back of a Suburban on an SUV. Thing holds four rifles. No more wrestling guns in the back of your pickup, going hunting with the crew. Everybody's wrestling rifles. Put them in here, they keep them safe. Put them in here, tie them down. Have a place for your ammo in here. This tray here unscrews, removes with all of the, the rifles on at one time if you wanna carry it in for late in the day. The other end in this box, this is has a ammunition rack. Storage area. Here's the insert we've removed out of one of our 71s. See how the gun rack goes in place. 